the street. Okay. We're just going to sit here and look stupid. Where are we, where are we going to be posted? On Facebook. On Tom? Thomas Mangelli. Which one do you have three pages? So, Tom, can you share that with me, man? Which one? Thomas. Which one, Thomas? No, there's only the one. Oh, I got it now. Thomas Mangelli, he's sharing. So, we're live now, right? You are live. Hang on. So... We're here. If, if, if you're watching us or listening to us, you've tuned in to Funny Talk with Mangeli and Max. I'm Tom Mangeli. I'm not even going to say I'm Doug <clears throat> Max because I want to share to our Funny Talk page first. He's still Doug Max. And uh, we have, uh, we're, we're broadcasting live from Hamilton Radio in beautiful downtown. Where the hell are we? Hamilton. Robbinsville, New Jersey. Beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> And tonight's topic is going to be, once Doug has finished what he's doing. I'm sharing. You can, you can tell people what the topic is. I'm going to just keep on sharing. Our topic is fundraising using comedy for fundraisers. Okay. I'm not planning on talking about that. No. Okay. Well, <laughs> but that's the topic. We don't got to talk about as it. As usual, we're going to also play it by ear. But our special guest for tonight in studio is John Harris. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, John? Hey, how you doing, Tom? I'm doing that, all right. Was that play it by ear comment supposed to be a slam against me? No. You know, I'm the only one here with with hearing in both ears. <laughs> what? Exactly. <laughs> it's radio. I could do that joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're almost done. I'm going to share to your page. Okay. And then everybody in the world that wants to know us will uh, will share on a friend's timeline. Now, we are going to have a couple of people calling in later today, but I just want to introduce John Harris. I, I've worked with him several times over the last few years. Several. Uh, several times, right? Yeah, yeah, several. And uh, he's a comedian. He's a comedy show producer. He uh, has his own podcast, radio show. And when things are uh, a little low on funds, I'll be in front of shop right in a khaki Girl Scout looking uniform with fishnets. Whatever well, was, it takes that to was keep you? the money rolling. That was me. And you, know you didn't buy the freaking Thin Mints, you bastard. I ate five boxes of Thin Mints. I'm still fat. Oh, well, you cut down on the five. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, okay. Nice job. Okay. You know what is? You got to stay away from the peanut butter. Oh, yeah? That'll do it to you every time. Uh, so uh, <laughs> tell us a little about yourself, John. I just did the Girl Scout thing. What else on the biography do you want? Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, we got some sound on there we probably shouldn't have. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if nobody's laughing, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, get, get used to it. Yeah, yeah I was Excuse just going to say, wait a minute, I've been in comedy. Could you correct the uh, call-in number for people, please? Hey, Doug Max is watching. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I got. Well, he's here. not he's listening. Not, no, no, and he's not <laughs> hearing anything, even if he is. But. <laughs> Did you say something? No, 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 don't worry about it. As <laughs> far as you know, we didn't. Don't worry about it. As far as you know. <laughs> what Did movie? it occur to you when you asked me to do a radio show with you that I'm deaf? What? Did... Well, I'm dumb. That's the only reason I agreed to it. Holy cow. That should be the name of our of our Deaf and duo. Dumb. Deaf and Dumb. Deaf and dumb. All right. We works. also thought we'd do the Wandering Jew and the Roman Catholic. That'd be nice. The Roman Catholic and the Wandering Jew. Oh, yeah, I'm telling you, if you can't we'll get a, some holy like water, we got crew. problems. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You're you're our guest tonight. Yeah. So yeah. you were telling us about yourself. And no, I it wasn't, you. actually. And that's how you guys got in there. I hesitated. <laughs> it was a bad move on my part. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shh, quiet. There's a guy He's on the floor. He's up on us. Uh, let me see. Well, I can tell you about myself. Uh, I've done a lot of things in life. I'm uh, still doing stuff. Uh, let me see. Uh, I've done some comedy the uh, last uh, what, three years, four years. I'm having a lot of fun doing it, meeting guys like you guys, getting uh -huh. to do things like this. Um, and uh, it, it's been a lot of fun. Um, people started out, and you guys are probably similar or know people that are like that when people always go, oh, my God, you're so funny, dude. You should go on stage and tell jokes. I've never... <laughs> And uh, you I've know, I've never what? heard that in my life. Really, I, I've heard that. But yeah, but you don't hear anything. No, you, so know what I, you know what I hear? I, I hear a running gag going all night long. That's what we're going to do. I, I can't tell you. It was probably for more than a year after my beginning comedy. People would come up to me and say, How brave you are for doing comedy. Yeah, you but know I'm what like, they. Well, you, you shouldn't say I'm brave. You're supposed to say, how You're funny. No, uh, no. You're, <laughs> wow, how brave you are going yeah. up there and with that. 
Yeah, that yeah, material. that's what it is. They're they're leaving out that little part to make you feel good. You know, you're doing so good. Yeah. You're so brave. People should be so proud of you for going on stage and not being able to tell a joke. You are so good. <laughs> well, you're so brave. Well, Doug's, Doug's <laughs> I get that all the time. Doug's superpower dun, is dun, that dun. he he can tell a joke without a punchline. <laughs> Awesome, Doug. He, it's like he's allergic to punchlines. <laughs> yeah, Doug. but I get laughs for those, and when I tell a joke with the punchline, uh, I don't. Uh-huh. Yeah, I stop, yeah. So maybe he's got good. a point. Stop with the punchlines. Yeah. You know, Monty Python actually used to say that. If you ever watch a bunch of their skits, there's no real ending. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll just bring out, like they used to bring out the one guy to play the colonel, and all he goes, oh, all right, his sketch has gotten silly. Right, we right. need to stop it right now. And they move on to something completely oh, unre- yeah. you know, unrelated. Uh-huh. No, they moved on to something completely Comple- different. Wow. Completely I was different. waiting. I was waiting. Now, apparently, Doug, you can hear. Yes, I can. <laughs> All right. You I can do. hear. But apparently, our, our technical producers of the show are not capable of changing a nine to an eight. And we want people to be able to call in. Not, actually, I'm going to call up the number on the thing and see. Maybe okay, it's another here we podcast go. Okay, that's, that's more great. interesting yeah. than us. So, uh, Tom, um, let's let's uh, talk about Doug some more. Okay. <laughs> how bad? How bad a comedian am I? How bad are you? I'm just playing straight, man. Doug, go ahead. Well, here's the thing. Doug here's and thing. I just did a, a show where he did my act and I did <laughs> his act. Right. Oh, he got all the laughs. <laughs> hmm. Now, what happens when it's the other way around? Do you get all the laughs, though? Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. Look at him. He's like, he didn't want to say it and hurt your, he didn't want to hurt your one feeling, Doug, that you have. <laughs> Doug has one feeling, and, and Tom just heard it. So what's I going felt, on I felt so great doing doing his set yeah. and and getting, hearing, hearing laughs. And you were hungry immediately afterwards, too, weren't you, Doug? You went into the whole thing. Are you a method comedian, Doug, when you do this kind of a thing? I went in. I wanted some pasta right no, afterwards. I am, a, I am a madness comedian. Uh, okay. That's the only way. How else do you explain a profession where for seven years uh, a comedy night means you invest six or seven hours to do five minutes of work, not get paid, right? And, and drag six of your... Uh, and, right. yeah, drag enemies, in. future enemies. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, not necessarily friends, and they won't be afterwards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a couple of acquaintances that think, hey, he's, he's a pretty cool guy. Let's go see. And then you, you tell some jokes, and they're like, that guy's a shit. See, when yeah. I started out, I was still teaching, so I used to make that extra credit. Ah, yeah, very nice. <laughs> extra credit, very nice. <laughs> Which, you know what? My credit's so bad, extra credit won't bring my score up, for crying out loud. So that's I not good either. You. you know what I'm saying? There we go. I was surprised at how good my credit score was. Really? really? But I, I don't buy things, I, you know, I don't have money for. So it, it's... Ah, uh, uh, see, you're not... But American. I could borrow. It's frightening, because I could borrow a lot more than I would feel comfortable... You know. See, you know, I'm so broke, African children send me money. That's good. They yeah. got you on TV then saying, hey, send this poor guy some rice. Right. You know, it's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So well, see, Tom, you're not really big. You're starving. You yeah. got one of them distended stomachs, right? You're yeah. starving like the little kids. You know, right. you just gave me a great idea for marketing. You you were, you were marketing, right? You had a yeah. marketing degree, an advanced marketing degree. Uh-huh. An advanced marketing degree. So you just gave degree. me a great idea going from the all the... And, you know, we just came out of a period where they're showing all the starving poor children and the starving freezing animals, you mm-hmm. know? Yeah. And I'm thinking we could do a marketing video for our show where we put you in a room that doesn't have food and we have a timer up Sorry. and we see and we count the minutes and we see if we can get callers to, you know, send you candy bars or something to... You know what we should do? Maybe what maybe it well, what's idea. this we shit? Like I'm involved. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you well, should you're do? You're involved now. I'm involved now. So what you got to do is get a tote board. You know, like the old mar- uh, Teleton things, except instead of money, it's just like it shows a candy bar. <laughs> it shows this with a green screen or something. <laughs> let's well, see what's let's on take the a look magic. at the tote board. Three more, three musketeers, bars for Tom. Ah! Well, it's like the sign at McDonald's. How many people served? <laughs> yeah, how many people served? <laughs> I don't know. How many can the waitress do in one day? <laughs> So, so I, I just want to mention. I don't want to keep steering us back to the topic, but yeah, you are, aren't you? Yeah, the two yeah. of us are doing a show. The two of us are doing a show coming up. Okay, yes, we are. Right, and it's a you fun, and I. Right? You and I. You and I. Right. And that, that's not what my advanced degree is in English. The hey, 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 figgies. I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> you know okay, that, so the you... two of you are doing a show. Thanks. Please, don't... please. I'm curious. Tell right. us about the show. 
Enlighten us, Doug says. <laughs> when is the show? Where is it? What's the purpose? What are you doing? Oh, man. All What's going on? One shot. Holy mackerel. All of that, huh? Right. It's called The Battle to Remember Comedy Night, and it benefits the Veterans United Military Memorial Museum. Or yes. Vroom. Vroom. Yes. Oh, is that at the uh, Cuisine on the Green? Yes, at it Atlantis is. Atlantis in yeah. Tuckerton? It's at the oh. Atlantis Country Club. <laughs> yes. And it's a, the restaurant there is called Cuisine on the Green. Yes, it is. And but yeah, it's indoors. It's not actually on the green. That's true. That's true. Oh, that's true. Mm, a little misnomer there with a the name, I think. Yeah. And, and John's going to be the MC for the night. Yep. And uh, I'll be on the show. And, and Zane Burney. Zane, have you ever seen Zane Burney? I've worked with Zane. Oh, you've yeah. worked with Zane. Yeah. yeah. He's a very funny young man. Yep. Does a lot of work with veterans in other places. Now, I've well. asked him if he's seen me, and he's... And he said, he no, he hasn't no. seen you at all, no. But then again, he asked you if you heard him, and you were like, uh? So yeah, it was so a two-way street. Here we've cornered the market on deaf. Zane Burney happens to be legally blind. Yes. Because if he was illegally blind, they threw him in jail. Well, that would be completely different, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'm on the show, and then the headliner is Mike KC. Mike KC, who is a very, very funny guy. He's a fireman out of Vineland, New Jersey. Okay. Uh, he is hysterical. I just did a show with him uh, this past Friday night, I believe it was, in, in Fairton. Uh, and he does the same type of things. He puts on shows that are fundraisers and everything, too. Uh, he's a good guy to get to know. Okay. Um, and gets some great comics, but Mike himself is hysterical. He's I don't think really I ever funny. worked with him. He actually has a YouTube video, and I think it's called An Italian Christmas. It's got over a million views. Really? Like 1.3 million views last I knew, and it might be more now. Wow. And it's hysterical. If you get a chance, look it up on YouTube. But it, it, it really is hysterical. It's great. Uh, I can see some people are watching here. It's pretty good, guys. <laughs> so um, um, we, we want to mention that our show is proudly sponsored by Jack Hoffman of J. Irwin Productions. If you're interested in producing a fundraiser, a comedy show, have a comedian come to your bedroom and perform comedy. I've done that. I've done that. My ex-wife at least was laughing. I think that was the time. <laughs> I so I guess I've done that. In, right I to <laughs> right yeah. to Jack at J. Irwin And and Jack does mostly north and central Jersey and Rockland County. Okay. And that's kind of his, uh, his geographical his niche. His niche. And John, you are uh, producing shows under the name Jersey Comedy? Yes. J E R Z E E? Yes. Jersey Comedy. Look for it on Facebook. And yes. what's your geographic realm? Um, I'm more into the south, southern end. Um, um, when I perform, I've performed in New York, like at Dangerfields, Broadway, things like that, Philly, um, uh, Baltimore, Atlantic City. Uh, things like that. Um, I've put on I put on shows mostly in the South Jersey area, in the uh, in Atlantic, and Cumberland and Salem counties, and uh, I've done one or two up here. In a, up, up, I shouldn't say up here; it's still further south. It's uh, in right. Ocean, and we're getting ready to branch out with a few shows in Cape May area, yeah. like Ocean City, Cape May County. That nice. Kind of thing. Yeah. So uh, Cape May, I call it the last uh, resort. And you would probably be right. But um, bum, but um, bum. So. Yeah, don't forget we've got a radio listening audience that don't don't see us. So so if you if if you want to roll your eyes, you have to do that verbally. Verbally, I have to figure Speaking out. Speaking of which, Doc, uh, do we what 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 countries are tuned in? Countries. Hold what country? Okay. Oh my God, Florida. That's not a country. <laughs> do, 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 have, do, you do, do, to, have you been to Florida? Have you been to Florida? It's not the same as here, I'm telling you. <laughs> Oi, I'm telling you. You're good. The Kanish, it's unbelievable down oh, there. Um, I it's would out like, of this uh, royal. Uh, excuse me for a second. I'd like to thank uh, Slithnob Baroque. <laughs> but, but, what's the name? Barokja? <laughs> From <laughs> Romania? Colombia is listening. For sending could, us out. What were, what were those things you yeah. sent us, Tom? Were Ooh, you able to figure down? out? Yes, man, yeah, what did he me. send us? What did he send you, Tom? What do you think those were? Like like their cookies, or was it more a meat product? It, w it was <laughs> a, a little <laughs> of both. Wait, it I was just going to say, wait a minute. A cookie or a meat product? It was a floor it's topping funny. and a dessert. <laughs> yes. I mean, a floor. Oh, a floor I, didn't know, know, I know where that came from. Oh, that's awesome. It's a floor and a dessert topping. That's awesome. <laughs> Anyway, thank you, thank you for that, and um, I, you know, this is getting to be old. But uh, what are you saying, Tom? What What am I supposed to say to Anga? So this time she sent me, 
She this time she sent me what she um, send you. She sent me a dozen tulips, all red. I've told her I I have a girlfriend. I love her. Um, Your girlfriend or Inga? <laughs> you gotta make it. You gotta make it known here, Pally. No, I love my girlfriend. I got I, a, I got on... a dozen tulips from this girl, and I love uh, you know. But what's <laughs> remarkable is they get her from from Holland so fresh. Uh huh. Mm hmm. <laughs> Okay, is Inga fresh? That's apparently the question we got to find out here. If she's sending you tulips there, Pally, what's the story? Tom, what has our international viewers sent you? A, a rock. <laughs> Was it a pet rock, Tom? No, actually, Doug, for my birthday, gave me a rock. You, ah. you didn't hear this? No, I didn't hear this. Yeah, he said it was the thought that mattered. <laughs> was th the only thought I thought of was cheap bastard. Oh, man. You know, that reminds me, I started new medication not so long ago. Me and I don't too? know if you ever see you the commercial. You got extra? Yeah, I do. <laughs> but I'm keeping that for myself. <laughs> <laughs> but I got this new medicine, and it keeps going on, and I'm reading the, reading the disclaimers the other day, and it says, if you have suicidal thoughts, go see your doctor. So I went to the doc, said, hey, doc, I'm taking this new medicine, and I'm starting to have some suicidal thoughts. He goes, follow your instincts. <laughs> so... Uh, uh, I, I did a joke about that with uh, trying to quit smoking in Chantix because it, it gives you problems of suicidal thoughts or actions. And I thought, do I want to die alone smoking or risk suicide so that I can find a girlfriend? Wow. Well, that's, uh, that's heavy. That's uh, heavy and um, way too deep for me. Yeah, yeah, really. After you got past the second sentence, I was gone. <laughs> I was gone. No, wait a minute. But that's I got ADD. I've been using that in my comedy routine. Not funny. I didn't say it wasn't funny. I'm it, saying it's I, have a, I have AD. All right, I couldn't focus on the third letter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we, we have a lot of letters at this table. He's uh, OCD. I'm ADD. You're ADD. I'm ADD. No, he's ADD. And I just got my third AARP card, so I got all kinds of letters going for yeah. me here. By the way, speaking of letters, did you know Vanna White has veered? Irritable vowel syndrome? Irritable vowel syndrome. I heard that, yeah. Yeah, yeah she's having problems Doug, turning Doug the page. Never, <laughs> Doug never heard that. She he never heard that? You never, he heard, never that? heard anything. No, that's funny. In like all that. honesty, I met Vanna White in New York. Did you really? Yeah, it's a really nice lady. Uh, we were actually with her family, but we were staying in the same hotel when I went to play Dangerfields and uh, Broadway one weekend. Oh, uh, that's pretty cool. And it was like, and I, I had actually this... played Vanna White. Okay. Actually, I played Vanna White Trash. Okay. <laughs> in a movie? Um, Man of Way Trash. Um, it was uh, called. What was it called? It was called. It was on a uh, parody of uh -huh. the Wheel of what is what? Wheel, Wheel of Misfortune, maybe. What, what or game something? is, it? Wheel of is it? The Wheel of Fortune. It was. Uh, yeah, it was the. Uh, the Italian version, Wheel of Fortune. I forget what the, I think it was called. The Wheel of Misfortune, probably. Well, it something probably like was, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I got to well, wear a dress. Then. That's the important thing. Doug likes to wear dresses. I don't know if you know that about him. I've been looking for an opportunity to do it again and have a good reason for it. He wants to dress as who? Diana Ross? I want to dress as Diana Ross and dance, do waltzing with Tom. Waltzing? Yeah. <laughs> so He'll play the role of Matilda. Congratulations, I we'll think. Get a, I like, we know. should get a stuffed <laughs> kangaroo, I think. Right? I don't know what the hell you're talking Waltzing about. Waltzing Matilda is an Australian. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Waltzing Matilda with Diana Ross. Uh, yeah. That Try to come like with a, yeah. a more obscure reference. Yeah, if we, could, maybe, if we could get something else that nobody's maybe ever heard Inga about. Maybe Inga will get a Inga, kick out of it. Maybe Inga, Inga could do the maybe uh, she's Holland writing in. English thing. <laughs> maybe she's writing in right now with obscure references. Well, let's just say you're not getting tulips after this one, okay? <laughs> but I'm, wow. So... John, what's your opinion? Is is using comedy, <laughs> for, yeah. comedy a good way to uh, raise funds for an organization? You know, I, I, I think in, this is going to be hard for me to do, but I'm going to be serious for like three sentences, All right. probably. If <laughs> you can count them, folks. <laughs> Vegas odds right now are going, I don't think I'm in. Yeah, what's the under, uh, over? He's not over, under on three sentences. Uh -huh. um, it is, Tom, because I, yeah, it's a chance for people to come out and feel like they're doing good, but yet still have some fun. Right. Do you know what I mean? Um, um, because when you, when you come out to a show, like the show we did the other night, uh, to me, it was a great cause. It was for kids, you know, to be able to have something that, you know, with the economy, the school couldn't pay for it anymore. Mm -hmm. So the parents decide, you know what, we're going to put a fundraiser together ourselves and raise money so our kids can still have this function that they've always had in years past. Let's do this. Um, but you get your more serious fundraisers as well. Um, 
and and it's a chance for people to feel like they're doing good, like they're connected with the community or they're connected with something, um, but yet still come out and have fun. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't have to come in and go, oh man, this is you know, come out have some fun. But it's a great way to to help your community and to help your fellow man. I think so. Now, most people really take to that. One of the things that I'm impressed with is that there are enough comics out there that are willing to donate their time and talent to help raise money for a good cause. Yes. Yeah, and there are. Uh, And I will say um, there are a lot of surprises when you join the comedy community. And there's a lot of surprises even more so when you start producing comedy shows. And Mm -hmm. then even more so when you start to try and do fundraisers. Mm -hmm. Um, You find out the good and bad, obviously, in both. Mm -hmm. Um, But I am overwhelmed when you do a fundraiser, especially um, at how comics are ready to give back. Uh, I don't want to tell you how many times I've seen at fundraisers comics will uh, give back part, if not all, of what they got paid for the night. Mm-hmm. And they don't want anybody to know that. And they give it to the people and say, here, here you go. Just don't worry about it. Or they'll tell the host, no, just give it to, you know, um, or the person running the fundraiser. And and I've seen that. It's it's um, a good-hearted thing that a lot of comics have. No, a lot of comics end up getting paid by, with food. Correct. Uh, that's the situation we're in Friday night. Okay. At Cuisine on the Green, a nice <laughs> restaurant, good food. And Tom, that's about all we're getting. Well, well, well Tom getting, getting paid with food is a bonus. <laughs> all right, Tom. Tom is getting like, um, for the folks that are what listening on radio, <laughs> um, let's just say that the people at a couple of buffets that I've known and went, Oh, we close. We close. We you you know come here. Well, your sign says 9 p.m. No, we close today. Inventory, inventory. We have to close today. He went, Tom. I once went to a Jimmy Buffett concert because I thought it was because you, you thought it eat. was food, right? Yeah, it was all, it was you, all you can eat. It was all you can eat. It was a Jimmy Buffett. It was no Jimmy. Gonna do? And there were no Jimmy. But it was there. more than that. Wow. Well, well, you're well. like I I I see him. I see him after. Uh, after one of our gigs, he's getting into the car. He had like a doggy, ba- you know, one of the boxes. Yeah. I'm like, where are you going? He's going to see the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, no, not that. <laughs> oh, no. It's like Tom gets a doggy bag, and it's actually, what is it, for St. Bernard, for crying out loud? What kind of doggy bag is that? And he's bringing in boxes and stuff. I think we got a call. We I got a call. I think we have a caller, too. Either that or there was one person. Hello, caller. It. You're on the it's air a with Funny call. Talk it's a robo call. with Mongelli and Max. Yeah. Yes, who is this? I know who it is. This is <laughs> it's, uh, Jim from the museum. Oh, Jim Comus, the director, and he yeah. will tell you chief bottle washer, uh, chief cook and bottle washer of the Veterans United Military <laughs> Memorial Museum. <laughs> Jim, they make you wash bottles? Jim makes himself wash <laughs> <No>. the bottles. <laughs> no, no washing bottles. <laughs> so, Jim, tell us about this fundraiser we have going. All right. The fundraiser is it, the fundraiser is for the uh, Veterans United Military Memorial Museum, and we're it's enough. It's the money that we're raising is for operational funds. Okay. So I don't. And uh, we're. Uh, are you still okay? Yeah, yeah, we're still here, Jim. You still there? Okay. Yes, sir. I, I was getting. That's getting background music, uh, noise there. Oh. <laughs> so all right, um, but it's going to be the cuisine and the green, which is helping with uh, John Harris is helping with us. Then the MC Zane, uh, yourself, right, and uh, Jay. Well, it should be a should they should be a good time. Now let me ask you: Are there still tickets available? Yes, they are. Okay. How would how does someone uh, get tickets? They can get tickets by calling me at 609-513-6454. Okay. We'll mention that number again at the end of the show, Jim. Sure. And I think they can also get a hold of of Jim on the the. Uh, Museum's Facebook page. Okay. So they could message yes. that as well. Am I right about that, Jim? Yes, yes, they can. Okay. Hey, I should try to get my, my father into your museum. Sure. My, my father was a World War II vet. I don't know I don't know what you what your overall mission is, but um, um 
anyway. They have they have a lot of things that to, to help educate, but they also have a lot of things that are really interesting to see from a historical perspective. I was there Sunday and, and walked around with Jim just a little bit. And, and took some pictures I posted, and, and I can send them back yeah, out Yeah, all of it is amazing. It is. It my, really my dad is. was in the uh, U.S. World War II Museum, okay. uh, Memorial Museum. Now, um, I, I live yeah. right near the uh, the uh, Fort Dix, uh, Lakehurst okay, Joint yep. Base. Yep. I saw all that when it was coming up, yeah. Right, and I, I actually live in Lakehurst where the Hindenburg exploded. I was going to ask you about that. Right. Now I'm, oh, the okay. only, now I'm the only blimp in Lakehurst. I was going to say, now you're the only dirigible in Lakehurst, <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, hey. He's hey, the only yeah. one full of hot air. Tom, you should do oh. that, you should do that in your act. Week. I should. You should. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Anyway, so that is part. coming up. That is coming up on. <laughs> this is coming up on what day? April 5th. April the 5th. Next Friday. Not this one. Now, April following. 5th is my father's birthday. Is it? Well, it was. It was. Congratulations. Oh. Thank you. To him. Yes. Yeah. To, actually, Jim, I don't know. Today, today also marks the the anniversary that we lost my dad. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. We, we didn't actually lose him. We kind of misplaced him. I was going to say, you know where he is. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, he, he yeah, showed up. Be, call. He showed up between the couch cushions with a Dorito stuck to his head. All right. Excuse me, yes. Jim. We got another call on the line. So let us let us take that. Thank you so much for calling in, and we'll we'll mention the show again and give out the number for uh, tickets. At the end of our show. All right. I appreciate it very much. All right, buddy. Uh, hello, caller. Right. You're on the air. Hello. We've got more than one caller, maybe. Hello? Hello. Hello. Who do we have here? Yeah, hi. This is Joe Lozner. Ah, Joe Lozner of the Meadowlands Comedy Festival. How you doing, Joe? Ah, uh, Max. How you doing, guys? Hey, we're, we're good. How are you? Good. I wanted to call in to make a couple of announcements. Yeah, go ahead. What's going on? Well, this Friday, my main man, Tom Angeli, is going to be uh, helping out on March 29th. This Friday night, we're doing a big our fourth annual St. Jude's Children's Hospital fundraiser over at the Empire Club in Little Ferry, New Jersey. Yeehaw. Looking forward to that. So we just want to spread the word on uh, if people want to come out and support. Uh, you can get the tickets if you visit MeadowlandsComedyClub.com. We're going to have Laz Vic is going to be the host. We're going to have a band there with live music by the used cars. Um, if you want to get a dinner and show, tickets are only 55 Show only is $25. And proceeds go to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. So it's a good cause. Fourth year great, doing it. Tom's going to be there. We're going to have some other funny people there. And um, just wanted to call in and say hello and uh, give a plug. Yeah, of course. One more time. How do they get tickets? You go to MeadowlandsComedyClub.com. Go to the box office page. And you can make your purchase right there. Or you could call 201-893-9777. You got that done? Got it. Well, I wish you the best with the show and with my friend Tom. I'm sure he'll be very funny. <laughs> Why start now? You better be. Say, no pressure. No pressure, Tom. You got to go. You got to be funny, too. And uh, also in April, we have uh, the Meadowlands Comedy Festival, the fifth annual Meadowlands Comedy Festival coming up. That's right. I got a big announcement. I don't know if you even noticed yet, Tom, but the show that you're going to be on, again, you can get the tickets, MeadowlandsComedyClub.com. We're doing our fifth annual Meadowlands Comedy Festival, and Tom's going to be performing at Bistro 107 in Moonaki on April 27th, and the headliner that night is going to be our friend, I'm sure you all know him, uh, Gregory Kroszewski from um, the hit TV show uh, Billions on Showtime is going to be uh, going up that night with him. He was also in the Borat movie, right? He was in the Borat movie. He was on Orange is the New Black on Netflix. Yep. Funny a lot guy. of things, but my phone's blowing up. Everybody's saying, oh, I see the Russian on that show on Showtime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's very funny. I've been, he's been at Tierney's many times. Yeah, we me. performed with yep. him there. Yep. Gregory's so, a good guy. So, Joe, thanks for calling in. We'll, we'll put up on our website also to remind people how to get the tickets and the dates and all of that. All right, guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for taking the phone call. Uh, enjoying the show. You guys are doing a great job. Keep up the good work, and yeah, I'll thanks. see you on Friday night, Tom. All right. See you hey, then, beautiful. Joe. Thanks for calling mm -hmm. in. All right. And Take I think care, we Joe. have Thank another you. caller on, You too. do, I think. Do we? No, just the two. 
Just the two. Oh, two. that was the two. Okay. Okay. Well, why don't we pretend there's another caller? Okay. And have an imaginary Hello? conversation. Hello, I'm calling. Hello, out. Hello. caller. Where is are this, you calling from? Is this, is this funny talk with Tom and, and Max and Max and Tom? <laughs> no. His, 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 name, his name is Max. I should be Min. Max and Min? Yeah. That should is be it, reversed. Mini Max? <laughs> Mini Between Max. the two of us? Is that like Mini Me? <laughs> Doug's first wife's name was Mini. Uh, Mini Poyle? M- Mini Max. Mini Max. Yeah. Okay, was she small? Would it have been cruel for me to name one of my sons Max? Max Max? Max Max. 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it would be good if he stuttered. Hey. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I stuttered as a kid. And I used to get very frustrated that I couldn't say the name of what I was afflicted with. If you stutter, you can't say the word stutterer without, without, pe- stuttering. without stuttering. It, uh-huh. it, it triggers it, you know, the S's and the T's. And the well, S's and the T's and the R's and the whole thing. Yeah, there. I think I've told that story before. Yeah, yeah I think so. you have. Yeah. If you have it, you should, if comedy. you have it, admit you have. <laughs> we could just look for words and figure out ways to segue into material. We ah, segue. There we go. There's a, there's a technical term for you folks at home. Segway. And it's also the a vehicle. Is, yes, now it's also segway. a vehicle. The password right? is Segway. Now, speaking of benefits and, and, and fundraisers, <clears throat> Jack Hoffman of J.R. Wynn Production is having a benefit coming up on April 11th. There's a lot of people getting benefited, my friend. Yeah, right. and, he, and he's got uh, Jackie the Joke Man. Martling, uh, right? Yeah, Jackie, Jackie Martling. 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 Um, who, for people who haven't seen Jackie <coughs> and have heard his reputation as only being somebody who tells other people's jokes, he is actually very, very funny with his own comedy. Why would you even bring that up? Yeah. I was Why? Because that. when I saw him, <laughs> I thought, do I want to see a comic no, that see, tells his, other people's jokes? He does his... His claim to he, fame was on the Howard Stern show, he, and people used to call... Punchline. Yeah. People used to call him to try and stump the joke man, and he knew every joke out there, and that was his. That's his. And that's superpower. how he got the nickname. Yeah. That's, that's right. Hence the nickname, there, my friend. <laughs> oh, by the way, speaking of nicknames, what mm-hmm. do you think would be more appropriate for me, okay. Tom the Bomb Mongelli, based based on my performance on stage? Uh, <laughs> it's explosive. But I'm bump. He's explosive on stage. <laughs> and in the bathroom. Um, Didn't want to know that. Thanks. That's all right. Uh oh, we got. Oh, we do call. have another caller. We got another caller. I thought right. we. Well, were wait, wait a caller, more. please hold on for one second. We're on. We're on. We're on. Uh, what's the word? Prozac. Prozac. We're on Prozac. We're on. What? What's the other? What's the other name? The you other name of? is Tom the Belly Mangeli. Ooh. Okay, we should have taken. The, I mean, uh, Doc, <laughs> let's take the call. Caller, <laughs> what do you think? Should Tom he the, be called mm. Tom the Bomb or Tom the Belly? Hey, this is Jackie Bartling. How are you? <laughs> hey. Uh, almost, almost, Who Jack. Who said jokes? <laughs> we didn't say you stole them. We said you borrowed them. <laughs> and, of course, this hey, is... it's Jack. How are you, guys? Jack, good, so good. How are you? How you doing, Jack? Okay. <laughs> good, good. And that fundraiser on April 11th is for Pascock Valley High School baseball team. Okay. Pascock Valley covers the towns of Hillsdale, Rivervale, and Park Ridge, New Jersey, in Bergen County. All right. And where and where is the event going to be held? The event's going to be at the Saloon in Pearl River, and uh, it holds uh, 200 people, Ooh, and it nice. looks like it's going to be a, a, a great night. Ooh, nice crowd, 200 people. That'd be good. It's a great the, venue. The... Um, and and the show's going to be hosted, and op- and Chip Ambrosio's going to be opening the show. Nice, Chip. Uh, Chip and I and Doug uh, go way back in the comedy. Nice guy, great guy, great comedian. One one of the best in the business, and he's been doing it, teaching it for a long time. Yep. So. And why don't we talk for a minute? At you guys, the two of you. And four other great comics. We did a great fundraiser just last week. We did. It was a wonderful time. That was a great. It really was a good show, and uh, it was for a good cause too, right? I'll tell you. I didn't know what the Parent Aid Fund of Rockland County did, <laughs> but the bottom line is these are social workers. These are people who work in 
um, Family Services and Child Services in Rockland County, and they have people come to them and they're in need of something, in dire need, whether it's medicine or health care or, or, or something for the, for the family. And, and these people raise money to, to supplement whatever they could do to help the, uh, their, their clients, basically. Right. It's all good things they did. Yep. And, and we had some real nice uh, pasta and meatballs, too. That's right. Those meatballs were good. Yeah. You knew uh, he was talking and, to Tom. And, uh, had to we, mention we, the pasta we saw the meatballs. grandma who made all the meatballs. She was yeah. there. Yep. Homemade. Oh, man. How did you even get here, Tom? <laughs> you know, I'm going to make this comment. It's probably not going to come out the right way. Whoops. So I should probably not make the comment. But I'm <laughs> I haven't make it anyway. anyway. No, when I see all these fundraisers, I think what a wonderful organization. And it's great, you know, that, that people are coming out to support whatever the cause is. But... You know, then I step back and I look at what the cause is. And, you know, Jack's description of what we did just last week is a perfect one. And it's, it's, it's a sad commentary that, that so many organizations need to do fundraising. Fire departments, police departments do a lot of fundraising. And mm -hmm. you're thinking, shouldn't these people have enough money to do what they're, you know? Um, I worked for the Marines. They had a... They had a program where they would loan people $300 if they needed it. And these, these are people willing to, to sacrifice their life for us. And where $300 makes a difference, there's something wrong. I just want to make that observation. I think it's great that you do them. Right. Um, I just think it's sad that, you know, you're competing against, you know, so many other. I see the millions going into football. You know, whether it's a, a high school football or professional football, the billions of dollars that goes into that, teachers aren't getting paid, parents don't have enough money for medical care, kids don't have enough money for this. Anyway. But but thank God there we do have all these comedians who are willing to give back to their community. Yeah, yeah that's important. Uh, uh, my name is John Harris. I just wanted to say thanks for what you're doing with the, with the fundraisers and everything. Uh, obviously, we've never met, but... But I've heard of some of the work you've done, and and uh, it really is important. Like like Doug was saying, it's a shame that we have to do it, but at least we do it. And uh, I agree with you. The comics that co go out to these shows and and perform yep. and do these things, yep. uh, and, and ninety nine point nine percent of it, it's out of the goodness of their heart. And you you know something that surprised me? I did I, I got kind of conned into doing a fundraiser. Long story, we won't go into it. But since I knew nothing about it and I got found myself being responsible for this fundraiser, I reached out to producers like Jack and some other comedy producers that I know, and I reached out to them and said, would you, would you help? And here were producers that are ostensibly competitors willing to come together and work for, it was the Hurricanes. Okay. And yeah. we started it yeah. with a yeah. hurricane, yeah. and by the time we were done, we were ending up, well, our money went to three different hurricanes. Yeah, right. Yeah, that one time period that was bad. Yeah. No, that and that that was a great event you did. Very great event. Yep. Awesome. I just wanted to mention that I was out on the high seas on a cruise, my very first and last cruise, right after <laughs> Hurricane Maria. Wait a minute, was that the cause? Really? Is that what you're saying? No, I was. Were just you not... bouncing up and down? Oh, on my oh I knew that was. Oh. <laughs> you set yourself up bad, Tom. You you opened a door there. And... Oh well. A uh, at least a it wasn't on Tom Cruise. <laughs> at least it wasn't what? I didn't hear. It. Repeat that. He, Never mind. At, le at, at least Tom. At least he wasn't on Tom Cruise. <coughs> oh, 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 hey now! Hey. Everybody wants. To be <laughs> Everybody a wants to. Be I a swear, comedian. Jack, you really one. should. You okay. should. You should get up and you should host one of your shows. Yeah. No, thank you. I don't. I don't like getting on the mic. I, let, let me tell you about one other fundraiser I did. One, one fundraiser I did earlier this year was for my fire department that I'm a member of here in Bergenfield. And we have our own fire training center where but it, it, you, usually you go to the county training center or whatever. We built our own here in Bergenfield and other towns come to it. Well, these fundraisers we do every year. And this year we had uh, Joey Cole as the headliner for our fundraiser. Uh -huh. um, but we announced also that the, the mortgage on the training center, which the town does not pay for at all, the mortgage was paid off with all the fundraisers that we had. Oh, wow. that's great. That's terrific. So the fundraisers for the fire departments really do good. 
and uh, most of the fire departments are volunteer firemen. Yep. They're, yep. They're, they're, they're getting up in the middle of their dinner or their nighttime to go uh, make a house call. And the other part about that, too, with volunteer firemen is everybody, a lot of people don't realize it's not just responding to the fire. I mean, these guys go down, they take care of the equipment, they take care of the building, they go to training on their own. training, Yeah, and a lot of that training is mandatory for them to do this. Right. Uh, And they go and they do this on their own, uh, like you were saying, uh, on your own time, on their own uh, free time. It's, It's a lot to be involved to do that, and they're doing it for the community, so... To raise funds for them, to me, is the least we should be doing. Yeah. I want to know, who, who's, when is somebody going to have a fundraiser for comedians? Well, Tom, I'm, I'm actually going to be uh, running a comedy fundraiser. Um, it's the Help Doug Afford a Jacuzzi fundraiser. <laughs> I know a lot of comics want to be on HBO. Most of them can't afford to subscribe to HBO. I, I was going to say, I can't even afford HBO. Yeah. I have a GoFundMe page. There's no D in it. It's just fun. Oh, okay. So uh, if you want to give to that, and again, I'll make those Girl Scout cookies available at ShopRite. <laughs> so uh, that's part of it. Carol yeah. Gerstenberg Anderson says, hi, old friend. Oh, my God. I went, to, this, I went that, to college that, with Carol. Wow. Hi, Carol. Carol, Tom Folks, says I hello. I want you to know that uh, I'm translating not, I, I've been doing a watch party of the show tonight. Uh, and we've had almost 250 people of, of our friends logging in and seeing. I, I'm, wow. I'm watching wow, that's it. awesome. Yeah. And uh, speaking of that, Doc, what countries are... are look on the ticker tape. <laughs> he already told you. Is the last, last show we did, Romania was our number one show. Wow. Um, we had... What was the weird country that we had the show before? Was that was Melania? Was Ethiopia. Ethiopia was on our Mongolia. food was on our food show. Philippines is listening, okay? They were listening. Philippines, Canada. <coughs> we're all going to get Facebook requests How about tomorrow France? from some How Philippine girls. How are we doing with Francis tonight? Brazil's listening. Brazil. Oh, 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 we're getting a Brazilian. Nice. Uh, <laughs> this is family friendly, John. Malaysia. Oh, okay. I'm Malaysia. We are friendly with families. Is that Doug, didn't you send an email to a Nigerian prince? <laughs> I did. Yes, you're right. I Korea did. Korea is also listening. <laughs> and Korea, north or south? It doesn't say. It says United the Republic of. Oh, uh, Republic is uh, the uh, south. Is, no, I think Republic's the north. Is that I'm right? Not, no, I'm not sure about it, but I think they are. Okay. Because the other and there's ones some are place called Reunion. Reunion. Called Reunion. It's a country. It says. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, man. I guess we should say hello to Kim Jong un. Hello. <laughs> Not, and and Rocket man. and telling me Hello, like his barber, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. <laughs> I actually I thought when Trump met him, I really what thought Trump that should, was a battle of the hairs. Right Trump there. should have done his haircut. Uh, Trump should oh, have man. met that summit and and honored Kim by doing his haircut. Oh man. <laughs> Wow. Okay. <laughs> Don't um, forget the, the great country of Togo, the Republic of Togo. Uh-huh. That's in Africa. I get all my clothes from there. Oh, oh that, that's well, Bogo. whenever I do the drive through I, I, I say Togo, Togo. <laughs> that's to go. <laughs> to go. Togo. go up oh, the, sorry. I go to the McDonald's window and go, hey, I want my burger Togo. <laughs> For exactly. some reason, that reminded me. That remind me of the joke of the, 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 the grandfather who goes to his grandson. He says, it's such a hot day. Let's, let's go swimming. Where are we going to go, grandfather? Oh, don't worry. I know a place. And so the grandfather takes him on a little walk, and they, they're walking along this chain link fence. And he goes, here, look at this water hole. He, the grandson goes, grandfather, the sign says no swimming allowed. The grandfather looks at it. He goes, no, swimming allowed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Doug Max. Jack Hoffman understood that and laughed at it. Why couldn't you? Because you'd heard it five <laughs> times on the show before? Uh, well, that's why. He's a regular viewer. That's what it no, is. No, it's because he's a smart man and he recog- you, you guys didn't get that. He got that. Jack got that. You have like to understand a- the deep humor of Doug Max. <laughs> I yes, think that's very your first deeply album, buried. The deep humor of Doug Max. <laughs> buried, covered in dirt. Deep humor. Dig that, through, by the know? way, that was North Korea. And, I call and, and that mulch. Say, can you dig it? <laughs> I call it mulch. <laughs> <laughs> Something is going to grow under that. Oh, aye, aye, aye. Aye. Okay. Listen, I'm just buying us time here, Tom. We got to get through another twelve minutes. I want to. I want to back labs. up and, and say hello again to. to well, Carol. if you're going to back up, beep, beep, Thank beep, you. beep. 
Okay. I usually beep when I beep, back up. Beep, beep, beep. Anyway, Carol Gersterberg was listening in. She she, she and I went to Montclair State. At the time, it was Montclair State College. That's so long yeah. ago. Yeah, now it's university, right? That's same right. Same with uh, Stockton. Did the same thing within the last few years. That's right. But um, so, what classes did you and Carol take together? Actually, we we both volunteered at a, a peer counseling information and referral service called the Drop In Center. And at the time, I was the assistant director, and and Carol was one of the counselors as well. And uh, peer counseling. Peer counseling. Yeah. No, it was a drop in center. Did you, did you work over near the Hudson River? <laughs> yeah, that's the pier we were on. <laughs> nice, very nice. That was nice. nice. Yeah. nice. But, okay. Anywho, so Jack, what else do you have coming up? You have Jackie the Joke Man. Yeah, that that's the big thing I have coming up, and uh, I'm going to be doing a uh, a veteran show. On uh, Memorial Day weekend oh. at the Veterans Home in Paramus. Nice. And it's going to be the, the world-famous Rich Carucci. Oh, nice. I'm going to be seeing him tomorrow night, actually. And that's my oh, birthday weekend, that... Memorial Day weekend. Wow. I was born on Memorial Day before they changed it to uh, the last Monday in May. I was born on Labor Day weekend. It took my mother three whole days to give birth to me. And wow. that's why they that's call it they... Labor Day that's weekend. Labor Day that's weekend. Right. I was born um, um, on my birthday. That's coincidental. Hey, hey Tom, Tom what, what, haven't you been putting on weight since the surgery? I, you I, know, I, I, I've been gaining you weight. You had surgery, Tom? I've been gaining weight ever since the surgery. What, what operation, Tom? What I was cesarean. Oh, man. <laughs> I knew that was... Uh, you've, got, you, you've got three straight men here for you, Tom. I don't know. One uh, of them's a little crooked. Uh, yeah. Uh, when I stand up, I look like a, the letter B. <laughs> it's a week I can't get through a sentence without Mongelli getting distracted thinking he's playing words with friends I'm like no that was a sentence you don't have to do a play on every word well it takes a while for you to get a sentence out Doug I have to do something <laughs> like, like Tom says yeah you're right Doug I don't have to <laughs> every time I get a sentence out I look at the audience and it's it looks like they're going through a sentence <laughs> it's called There's one magic word you gotta yeah. say and, and no, and it's omnipop. Um, okay, omnipop. Okay, I don't get the reference. That's all right. Tom Ignigno, in, in, Ignigno is uh, it just logged in. He owns omnipop. Oh, okay. <laughs> Production company. Ah. <laughs> oh, who? Tom? Tom? Who did you say? Ignigno. Oh, okay. I and I'm probably to him. pronouncing. It I know wrong. him. I know Tom. Yeah, I talked. Yes. I talked with him to. Uh, he he books a number of of uh, very talented comedians. Or he uh, uh, no, he manages. He 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 manages them, right? Yes. Yep. Yep. Like Julia. Yep. Uh, well, uh. there's no one like Julia. <laughs> the great Julia the Scotty. Yeah. yeah. Who we're very glad has recovered from her uh, just saw that. I just heart saw that, uh, yeah. her heart surgery, Good but for her. And you, you know I was personally you know I was personally a little bit bothered by her surgery. And I think you know why. Why? Well, she had a valve job, you know. No, she had it done by somebody else. <laughs> oh, Doug likes <laughs> Doug does surgery for one hundred twenty-nine dollars. That's true. One hundred twenty-nine dollars. That's right. Almost and, like and the old around shop paint jobs. Could have gone to your store. Suit yourself. That's right. That's right. Very nice. <laughs> Doug is the Earl Scheib of, of uh, surgery. Of surgery. That's right. Nicely done. But but Doug is upset because uh, Julia got a, a pig heart, a pig valve, and and she's two percent not Jewish. She oh, is. Well, not now. That takes that takes off a little bit now. Yeah. yeah. Now she's probably one point seven five percent. Yeah. But she she likes being a little bit Jewish. I think. I don't know why. That's it like, couldn't hurt. That's like Donnie and Marie, well, right? I'm a little bit country. I don't know, Jack. It's, uh, uh, yeah. We're such a little minority. What are we, 2% of the country? And, Is that right? And I'm sure we get a, a greater percentage of bigotry directed towards us. And am I that two, annoying? We're 2% of the country, but I, those I think of it's us my that fault. are managers, we're 20% of the salary. There you go. <laughs> And it's another reason people hate us. I don't know. I don't hate you, Doug. I know. 
Not uh, for that reason, anyway. I know. Yeah, that's not the reason. Not, right? That's not the reason. <laughs> that's seeing any hole better, there's, right? There's, there's different no, it's reasons. Not, it's not because you're not good in bed. Right? Yeah, it's not. <laughs> no, I didn't. You're not, but that's I not the reason. I didn't break up with you because you're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was something like that, right? Something like that. Him yeah. and uh, Louise Lasser. So, anywho. Hey, now. <laughs> yes. well, what was that, Lu Louise Lasser? Louise yeah, wasn't Lasser. Louise Lasser the one the one in that scene in Annie Hall where he's like, why did you break up with I, me? I remember. Wasn't she Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's what I remember. From. Yep. But she was in that scene in Annie Hall. Yeah. Okay, well, we won't do Annie Hall. <laughs> Who would right now? She's probably about 112 years old, so I don't think we're going to, you know. I, I bet Diane Keaton. Uh, oh, is it? Yeah, it's true. Diane Keaton's still Yeah, I think she's. Yeah. I'm sure she looks uh, youthful. Yes. Okay. Okay. Woody, Six Woody. minutes more. How about, of them, comedy. How about them bears? Come on, let's pick it up. <laughs> the bears. The bears. The bears. The bears. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do you have a favorite comedian, Mr. Harris? You know, uh, I gotta, I gotta say it. I, I know I've said I've played there and everything, but I, I cannot get past Rodney Dangerfield. Mm -hmm. To me, that that, the, and I just saw a biography. Uh, about him, and it was on Netflix. I don't know if it still is. Um, he had quit for a long time and went right. back to selling aluminum siding for his family. But that whole time he quit was like 12 or 15 years. Yeah, He was still writing jokes. They yep. had boxes and boxes of jokes that when he went back on stage, they're the jokes he started to tell, and they mm -hmm. were still so relevant. His timing was impeccable, and he gave so many young comics chances as well he got dice clay started Sam he was Kinison, very generous Bob he didn't Nelson. do crap yep. for me <laughs> well you know <laughs> i can't help it <laughs> I, I he, he didn't do anything for me either except made me laugh and that right. was what was great right. uh, and he gave back so uh and the reason danger fields even exists is because when him and his wife split up because she had health problems and then eventually passed away he needed to stay close to new york because of his kids Oh. So he stopped a lot of his touring around the country mm -hmm. and played a lot at his own club. Right. And, of course, held shows there as well. He still did some to help promote that. But, uh, really, Dangerfields opened because he needed a place where he could perform and still stay home and help be able to take care of his do, kids. Do you remember the, the TV show that he had? You know, I, I don't think I do. It, it wasn't very popular. I don't think it's, it lasted very long. I don't mm -hmm. even remember the name. I think it was just called Rodney, maybe. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. But no, it was like I a know. sketch comedy kind of thing. Was it? Yeah. He, he was great. Uh, there's a great story about him in Caddyshack. He had never been in a movie before. Yep. And uh, he's out doing his very first scene on the golf course when they filmed it, but it was his very first scene. And they're filming it, and he's saying all these lines, and nobody's laughing. Well, Ronnie Dangerfield's used to being in nightclubs and people just cracking up and right. nobody's laughing. So when they said clack, he goes, what happened? I died out here. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened. And they're like, no, you don't understand, Ronnie. Look, there's all the guys and girls over there. They had to get away because they were laughing so hard. We were worrying they were going to screw up the soundtrack. Right. And here he was panicking, going, he, I'm not getting laughed. He what wasn't used to, he wasn't used to not he getting, wasn't used to not getting feedback. Laughs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I would have to say that, that he is really the, my favorite comedian. I mean, there's I always obvious loved him. greats, but he's... I always loved him. I loved uh, Gilbert Gottfried. I used I was I him. saw Gilbert Gottfried yeah. live, actually down in Hammond. Andy Julia opened up for Gilbert. Okay. Uh, and I got to meet him, and that was really nice. Yeah. Um, mildest man you'd ever want to know. Yeah, yeah I, met, in I, person. Met him, I met him at this Pearl River venue that Jack was just talking about. Yeah. Not too and I, I got to drive with him. I picked him up in New York and drove him down to South Jersey to do a show with him. Okay. So I yeah. got to open for him. And, uh, you know, it was one of my greatest sets ever. The audience laughed everywhere they were supposed to. But, <laughs> but my recording doesn't show me at all. It's, you know, I did my usual opening, but yeah. the phone wasn't oriented, and uh, so I couldn't use it for anything. Because oh. you can't send a video of to somebody right. saying, just close your eyes. Right. Yeah. 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 Although with mine, I think it would be better if I told them to close their ears. Yeah, right? Right. yeah that would work. Yeah. So it's a purely visual thing. Though. No, but I started uh, watching, um, going to see him in mm -hmm. at the Improv in Manhattan in the early 80s when he was just starting out. Oh, Gilbert? Gilbert, yeah. yeah. And I, let me tell you, I was, in, oh, he's hysterical. I was in college at the time. 
I would laugh out loud during class, like right. days afterwards, thinking about him. And it's yeah. it's nothing that was funny. It was his delivery. Yeah. That, that's he did thing. one. I remember it was a it was a, a duet of little little lines, but one of them was something like, "Yeah, so has this ever happened to you? Yeah, it has." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a, the standard, you know, the, the standard kind right, right. you know, and there's so many, anybody married, anybody you ever, yeah. you ever do this, you ever, hey, you ever, you ever drive down on the road and All see right, a creek? Yeah. Leave it, leave it to, to, uh, to Gilbert. Gilbert. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm sure he does it better. <laughs> hey. You know what I'm trying to say? You know. <laughs> I'm How he talks like that. That's I, I good. <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, Gilbert's really funny too. And and, and uh, of course, when I told you guys saw Ron White, um, um, there's a guy a lot of people don't remember that Rodney helped get started. He's out there, and I saw him again at Dangerfields not so long ago. I didn't know he was still doing it, but he had Bob Nelson. To, oh, I, I know who you're talking. Bob Nelson, historical. I opened for him twice. I think he's coming down to Atlantic City or something. For Bob Nelson, you open? Yeah. That, He's got a bit. A lot of people, I don't think, remember. I know he's got the boxing bit that's great, and of course, everybody knows the football bit. Jeffy, 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 Jeffy Jeff, five dollars, five dollars, five dollars. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. great. Five dollars a punch. I need the money. Five dollars, five dollars. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Uh, he keeps getting hit in the face. It's great. Right. Um, but the one that I really liked is when he does the uh, the thing with the duck. And he oh says, yeah, it's a yeah. Pantomime. He goes, I do this. It's a pantomime, except. I talk during my Panama. <laughs> the whole thing. And the thing no, is he's, hysterical. He's a huge talent. Have yeah. you noticed that uh, John sounds an awful lot like your Uncle Sal? A little bit. Yeah. Uncle Sal had to go into the hospital tonight. Oh, no. He had to get the battery in his pacemaker replaced. Oh, crap. I tell pacemaker. Tom, sometimes. I do that for 79 attack, yeah. bucks. <laughs> I know you do. But yeah, it's a discounting. It's beautiful. He has insurance. How he much do you like Uncle Sal? <laughs> <laughs> Sal, we, we're sending you positive vibrations and uh, voltage. And voltage. <laughs> nice. Listen, um, technically our show... Our show we is have two minutes to go. One minute to go. We got yeah, one point well, nine minutes. So we need to kind of wrap up. We and need to wrap summarize. up. Tom, I notice you've got another show you have not plugged yet. So no. Yes, actually, this Saturday, March thirtieth, I'm going to be with Jimmy Graham. You know Jimmy Graham, and uh, Paulina Zismanova, um, very good friend of mine. Uh, Jason Pollock and Dave Evans, who's running the the show. It's going to be at um, Pizza Uno Pizzeria and Grill. In Maple Shade, New Jersey. Yikes! Nice. And I hope I hope we're good enough friends that you'll bring me some of his crackers. What crack? Oh, Jimmy Graham. Graham. Yeah, I knew that was coming. This is oh. Doug Max, ladies and gentlemen. That Doug Max with a Graham cracker. Jar. That's Doug Max. That's M A X with an X on the end. <laughs> anyway, it's an eight o'clock show. Get there early if you're planning on going. That's in. Uh, Maple Shade, New Jersey. Hey, they got uh, deep dish pizza there. Right? And April seventh, Tom Mongelli. And I will be heading to Akron, Ohio. Oh, that's right. Have that's you ever right. been to Ohio for comedy before? I've never been to Ohio So this at will be all. a new state for both of us. I've been to Ohio before. I, I've been um, to the state of depression, the state of confusion. Huh. <laughs> You're just in a state, my so, friend. So uh, anyway, yeah. Um, and I think we're going to take a southerly route, so I'm going to aim the car towards Tennessee. Right. And, oh, and no, hope, I know what's going to do. And hope that with your weight on the right side of the car, we'll end up in Akron. The center of the yeah, don't, um, yeah, if you go north, you're going to have a problem. And right? I will also be performing at uh, Tierney's Tavern on April 28th. And it's one of my favorite clubs, Tierney's Tavern in Montclair, New Jersey, with a wonderful group of comics. I don't know who they are, but I'll be on there, so it'll be a wonderful group. And you know they'll be funny. Yes. Well, I don't, but oh, some okay. of them, most of them. Yeah, they're trying to help you there, Doug. That didn't work. But I always do. I always do great at Tierney's for some reason. I, I maybe it's because the deaf audience. I could I don't be. Know. Yeah. Anyway, and I noticed some friends of ours are uh, have joined us. John Hollywood, hello, John Hollywood. How you doing? <laughs> and uh, John Sweeney. John Sweeney is one of the. He he is almost drier in his humor than I am. Yeah. yeah. I, I I love him. Uh, a friend of ours, Tom's watching Margie Homan. Oh, Margie, from, uh, how you South doing, Jersey? Margie? She's on there. Thanks for tuning in. Margie's a big uh, South Jersey Philly comic. Yep, she's starting out. She's hanging in there, man. Yep, yeah, she's doing all right. That's a good thing. Yep. So. Okay, so 
So, so I think we need to wrap up. This has been a funny talk with Mangeli and Max. That's I'm, what it's been. It's been some funny talk, my friends. <laughs> and we've had John Harris <laughs> with all his voices. Uh, Doug only has voices in his head. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And the uh, next show, uh, I don't know who's on our next show. We don't Who even know it? yet. But the I end of April, we're I... very excited. No, 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 when is it? Yeah, is it the end of April? Yeah. Or we're going to have a show with all the comics from Hamilton Radio. Uh, all the show hosts. That are, <laughs> all the that show are hosts also who are comedians. Or call themselves comedians. And we're going to have a comedy showcase. And we are going to have a comedy showcase. So that should be fun. So I guess I won't be performing that night. <laughs> Only comics. Sorry, Doug. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. If Doug had a feeling, it would have hurt. You know. People always There's a call creepy. back there. People, people are brutal towards me. And I think, it's, I think what they, they feel, well my deserved. confidence, my, my undeserved confidence, undeserved. and they want to <laughs> knock it down. I guess that's it. Yeah. But my deafness is my armor. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God you can't hear it. If you're hearing the things we say, imagine the stuff we're saying you can't hear. <laughs> John, I, you have any uh, shows coming up you want to plug? I Sure, Tom. <laughs> I have, uh, well, let me see. Actually, tomorrow I am starting to host a sports show on Quinn Television and on Facebook Live, um, <laughs> which will be a weekly sports show with uh, Fred the Sound Doctor Melendez, who's actually a very good, uh, uh, had his own sports radio show. Oh, wow. So I'll be hosting that. Uh, Friday, uh, I don't know. No, I don't know. Um, we're going to do the fundraiser on April 5th, right? which is for the Veterans United Memorial Military, M Military Memorial Museum, right. uh, which is a great cause. It's mm -hmm. a, um, a nonprofit. No tax money goes to it, uh, and they're trying to uh, educate and, uh, and have examples available. Uh, and they'll go places as well to, to give out. Now, you also have your own podcast. And I also have my own podcast uh, weekly, which is the Public John podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, seems kind of fitting for me. <laughs> I feel like I'm always getting crapped on. So, uh, <laughs> so it's the Public John. Um, and uh, same thing. Most of the time, it's, it's kind of funny. Uh, it's, I go places with it. Uh, the whole premise was, for years, I didn't want to leave the house because I don't like people. Now I'm indoctrinating myself on purpose to just try and change that phobia. Uh, and it's worked. And there are some serious shows and some, and some uh, funny ones as well. You're going to be a guest on it, I think, sometime next week, and we appreciate that. Okay. Um, and uh, maybe someday we'll have Doug on or I'll have both of you yeah, on. You don't want to do that. Okay. Uh, thank God uh, Doug figured out a way to diplomatically get me off the hook. Thanks, Doug. And uh, <laughs> and, um, and we, we have a lot of uh, – we've had comics. We've had all kinds of things, uh, uh, people. Oh, on. if you've had all kinds of things, maybe I'd fit in. Yeah, yeah. For surgery, yeah. maybe. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, not every show is funny, Doug. Could so I you do? you got a shot. What, do you know anybody that like needs a gallbladder bladder gall, removed gall or something? <laughs> well, gall uh, most people don't need gallbladers if they're going to have gallbladder surgery. Okay, <laughs> I'm a surgeon, not an elocutionist. <laughs> an electrocutionist? Is that what you said? That's that's what I said. That's what he said. Electrolysis? Uh, <laughs> the clock on the wall says 10:35, Doc. I guess we're closing out the show. Yep. All right. This has been a, a double talk. No. Funny talk. <laughs> Sew this thing up, Doc. Just <laughs> leave, don't <laughs> leave a massive scar like I just did. Okay. This has been Talk Talk. Funny Talk with Mangeli and Max. I'm Tom Mangeli. I'm Doug Max. And thank you. I'm John Harris. Thank you guys for having hey, me. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks for fun. tuning in. Okay. Peace out. <laughs>